Hi everyone, I am Menakshi Rawat. I am a master's student in biological and agriculture engineering at Kansas State University. My presentation is on rain-fed corn yield prediction in Kansas, a comparison of regression and process-based model. Let's start with introduction. Crop yield prediction is important because it provides valuable information to farmers, agronomists, and policymakers to make timely decisions. But it is a challenging task. Prediction of crop yield depends on several factors like weather, soil, environment, crop, and their interaction. So accurate crop yield prediction is crucial to address emerging challenges in food security in the era of climate change. There are three main approaches used for crop yield prediction worldwide. Statistical model, machine learning model, and crop models. And each has its own strength and limitations. Therefore, this study is undertaken with the following objectives. First, to predict the rain-fed corn yield in Kansas using multiple linear regression and the DSET crop model. Second, to compare the model's result in predicting the rain-fed corn yield across the state. The methodology for this study includes data download, maximum and minimum temperature precipitation as the weather variable for downloaded from Prism, grain fed corn yield from USDA NAS and KSRE, physical, chemical, and engineering properties of soil from Sergo, and short wave downward irradiance from NASA Power. For this study, two models have been used for predicting historic corn yield regression and descent. Regression model was developed by computing the relationship between weather variable and observed historic rain-fed corn yield for the Kansas counties. Then, rain-fed corn yield was simulated using DZ crop model, which uses soil, weather, and crop management data as input. Resulting yield from both the model developed regression model and DSET were compared as shown in the result. Figure 1, 2, and 3 shows the spatial distribution of evaluation matrix for regression model and DSET model for 49 selected counties for Kansas. Figure 1 shows the root mean square error for regression ranges from 0.74 to 2.11 tons per hectare whereas for DSAT it ranges from 2.02 to 4.71 tons per hectare. Figure 2 shows the mean absolute error for regression is half as compared to the DSAT and it ranges from 0.58 to 1.68 tons per hectare for regression and 1.49 to 4.02 for DSAT. Uh, and figure 3 shows the correlation coefficient, which ranges from 0.42 to 0.9 for regression, and whereas 0.03 to 0.74 for descent. Figure 4 shows the year-to-year -year variability in historical detrended corn yield for four major corn producing counties in Kansas, where red line represent the observed yield, blue line represent the simulated yield from regression, and green line represent the simulated yield from DSET. So from figure one and two, we can observe that DSET has a large RMSE and MAE as compared to regression model. And predictive historic yield for the regression is highly correlated with observed yield from figure three, we can observe that. From figure four, we can observe that DSET is overestimating at peaks and tail which shows that the impact of climate variability on yield is underestimated in DSET, while the regression model is capable to capture year-to-year -year variability due to climate variation. Therefore, this study concludes that regression model performs better in reproducing the observed corn yield, though it is important to note that DSET is not calibrated, whereas the regression model is trained against observation. Future work includes that rain-fed corn yield prediction for future climate scenario using regression model for Kansas counties. Thank you for listening my presentation.